Critical Mass. If you've heard of Critical Mass before, likely you've heard of their 5,000 watt UL12 subwoofer that they list for $15,000. That's right, my friends. $15,000. You can have a closer look. You can go look yourself. This sub. $14,999.00. This is, according to Car Audio and Electronics, the perfect subwoofer. And this is the perfect sub. The best. But gladly sell a few things to pay the two thousand dollar price tag. Subwoofer by which all others will be judged. This is where critical mass subwoofer is tested. You can see here on the cover, I have it highlighted. Critical mass UL12, the perfect sub. That's right. Car and Electronics said this, not the company. Now they also have a 5.1 system for a car that you can have installed for only $299,000. This Chrysler 300C was introduced back in I think 2006 CES and it had this complete setup. Each person in the car, each of the four seats had 5.1 surround sound. Let's see what Speed TV had to say about this. This is the only car in the world with a true 5.1 surround system for each position in the car. By using very unique drivers, these are, these are the only speakers, and I say drivers, I mean loudspeakers, that use very directional technology. They're called electrostatics, and uh, they are used in the home, but this is the only application for car audio. We have the only speakers that can do this, so it's like everybody has their own theater. Now, before you run out to your local audio installer, there's a few things you should know. Presently, there's only enough material left for nine cars, and if you want to get one installed, it's going to cost you six months without your car and over a quarter million dollars. Select one and only one that most impressed you at this year's show. It's the Chrysler 300C at the Critical Mass Icon booth. Now, this car sports a 5.1 surround sound system for each position of the car. You can't find that anywhere in the world. Well, as for me, we hope you've enjoyed our coverage of all of the highlights of this year's SEMA show. We'll do it again next year here in Las Vegas.